Hi, I'm Amy Schmidt with Dinner Board with what to make this week. Five easy weeknight dinner ideas. Need some dinner inspiration? I've got you covered. Subscribe to my channel for weekly menus and recipes. Recipe number one, mom's American chop suey. This is something I loved eating growing up and my kids love eating now. It's elbow pasta, browned ground meat, and tomato sauce. Growing up, my mom used a can of Campbell's condensed cream of tomato soup. No water, no milk, just straight soup. And although it was delicious, holy salt. It was salt suey. It was, <laughs> it was so salty. So I changed it up a little bit, changing out the soup for a marinara and adding my own cream to it, making this a quick, easy, delicious dinner that will remind you of your childhood. Recipe number two barbecued chicken burritos. I beg of you, if you make chicken, make a double batch because you'll use it. If you follow me, you'll see that I have usually at least one chicken recipe where I'm using pre-cooked chicken. What I do is if I'm barbecuing over the weekend, I make a double batch and shred it and use it in a salad or in this case, a burrito. Super easy dinner, burritos made from refried beans, chicken, rice, lots of cheese, of course. And if you're not comfortable with rolling a burrito, I've attached directions in my recipe on how to do that. Recipe number three, zucchini boats with turkey alfredo. I love this dinner because you're eating your dinner in your veggie. I have so many zucchini still, trying to figure out new and different ways to eat them so my kids don't get sick of zucchini. And a lot of people gave me this recommendation to make boats out of them. Basically cutting the zucchini lengthwise, scooping out the seeds and putting a filling in. So I chose a little bit different of a filling. I chose to brown some ground turkey, have it simmer in some Alfredo, again, cover with cheese. I think cheese is a theme this week and then bake it in the oven. And it is delicious. If you do it right and not scoop out too much of the zucchini meat, you'll have this wonderfully tender zucchini that supports the filling inside. Recipe number four, spicy salmon sushi rolls. I almost always opt for buying sushi instead of making it, but when your 17 year old son finds a recipe and asks you to make it, you do it. This is a great fun family project. It's a little bit of a production line, but set up well, the sushi comes together easily. I will tell you, the first or second roll that you make will be an absolute mess, but then you'll get the hang of it and it will look like sushi from a restaurant. It also uses canned salmon, which I love because then you don't have to deal with raw fish. Save that for the experts. And recipe number five is baked potato bar bowls. So I have something to admit, I am only into baked potatoes for the toppings. So to maximize the toppings, instead of making a little slit and just putting a few things in, we open up our baked potatoes into shallow bowls and go crazy with toppings. I set up a bar with all of my family's favorite toppings, cheeses, chili, bacon, fried crispy onions, regular onions, um, lettuce, a whole bunch of things. And everyone gets to make their own baked potato bar. The good thing about serving it in a bowl is it's a little bit more hearty and seems more like a dinner than a side dish. And the other great thing is that everyone gets to make their own potato. There will be purists who stick with the butter, the sour cream, and the chive, and there'll be people that will run wild and use every single ingredient on the platter. It'll be interesting to see what your family comes up with. It is when we make them. So those are the recipes for this week. Let me know what sounds good in the comments below, what you may try, and if you do cook something, take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram at dinnerboard. Again, subscribe to my channel for my weekly menus, and thanks for watching.